Created from clay, Bolesławiec, the town of good clay, has been famous for its pottery for ages. Taking advantage of natural clay deposits that were situated around the town, first pottery workshops were established in the Middle Ages. The oldest preserved wares that had originated in the 15th, 16th and 17th centuries were discovered during archaeological excavations in 2007 when pots decorated with overlays and covered with brown and cobalt glazes were found. The discovery has confirmed the chronicle record from 1612, according to which a cobalt glazed pot found its way to a new church in Prague, taken there by Namsler, the mayor of Bolesławiec. Pot manufacturing process was long and tedious in the old days. The clay, mined from a deposit, used to be kept for many months in ground pits, and next it was trampled down. The pots used to be hand-thrown and made by hand on the potter's wheel. A potter molded the walls of a pot on a slow-rotating wheel. Decorations also used to be made on a slow-rotating wheel. The forming took place with just fingers or with the help of tools. After having a pot dried, it was kilned in a kiln specially constructed for that purpose. Early pots, dating back to the 16th and the beginning of the 17th centuries, that used to be decorated either with a jugger or covered with cobalt glaze, were replaced by melon-shaped jugs with ribbed bodies in the second half of the 17th century. Pot lids, as well as the food and beak fixtures, used to be made of pewter. During the following 18th century, a new kind of decoration had become popular. On smooth bodies, covered with a brown glaze, there used to be placed white overlays that were either floral, heraldic, religious or figural in form. The figures of Adam and Eve on one of the pots have used to be and still are the symbol of Bolesławiec Potter's Guild. An extraordinary pot was made in 1753 when pottery master Joppe made the great pot that was regarded to be the biggest in the world. The gigantic pot was over 2 meters high and had the capacity of nearly 2,000 liters. It used to be the symbol of the town's ceramic traditions for 200 years. Destroyed after the Second World War, it was reconstructed and returned to the Bolesławiec Museum. Two important events were recorded in the 19th century history of Bolesławiec stoneware manufacturing. One of them was the arrival of a new type of decoration called stamp decoration. White pots were at first decorated with a sponge and later on with rubber stamps in various patterns, usually in the form of circles, dots, fish scale and peacock's eyes. The dominating colors were cobalt blue, chrome green, brown and ochre. The other important event was the opening of the Bolesławiec Vocational School of Ceramics in 1897. Headed by Wilhelm Pukal from the Royal China Manufacturing Company in Berlin, it began training prospective porters. The new manufacturing methods introduced in those days are still applicable. The traditional potter's wheel was replaced with modern pot turning and casting in plaster of Paris molds that consisted of either two or more parts. The molds are filled with semi-liquid stoneware mass. After it has been set and initially dried, the molds are dismantled and handles can be stuck to the pots. After the wares are cleaned and dried, they are primarily kilned. The kilned biscuits are covered with decorations, applying a variety of techniques and subsequently glazed. Next, they are placed in the kiln again. Several Bolesławiec potteries began cooperating with the Vocational School of Ceramics. Among these were Robert Burdach, Hugo and Ernst Reinhold, Julius Paul and Karl Werner's potteries. 
Many decoration techniques were introduced in those days. Enamel decorations, inlay techniques, paintings, flow and crystal glazes, gildings, over a stencil spraying techniques, non-glossy glazes and cone painting techniques. Following the Second World War, the restarting process of the ceramic and pottery works was difficult and long-lasting. The first manufacture was reopened as a result of endeavors of a ceramic artist from Krakow, Tadeusz Szafran. The cooperation with the State Higher School of Fine Arts in Wrocław gave way to upkeep high artistic and technological standards of wares. The most prominent designers were Izabela Zdziałka, Bronisław Wolanin, Wanda Matus and Janina Bany Kozłowska. Besides the designs that were inspired by historical patterns, the artist created many new original forms and decorations. The pots manufactured to those designs were presented during numerous exhibitions, trade fairs and competitions and received numerous awards and credits. The exhibits illustrating the development of the Bolesławic stoneware from the 15th century until the present day can be seen in the Museum of Ceramics. The present-day collection numbers approximately 4,000 exhibits. The collection that has been gathered over many years gives stoneware lovers an opportunity to take a time journey in order to better their understanding of the land of clay and the town of ceramics, the place where extraordinary and fine-looking words are made.